How's it going guys, my name is Dom and today I'm going to be taking you through how to use the CSS3 transition property in your web applications. So it allows you to basically just uh, add a simple animation or transition effect to your elements when a property of the element changes. For example, you can make it so when you hover over this square right here, it'll fade away and this is done by adding a transition effect to the opacity CSS property. So here we have obviously that web page. It's a page with one square on it. Now in the code, we have a div down here in the body, a class of square. For that square class, we have a width of 250, height 250, and a background color. Now we're going to make it so when you hover over it, it fades away. We can add a CSS uh, rule right here. We can say square on hover. We want the opacity to be zero. Let's see how this looks in the browser. Refresh. And we get that um, effect right there. So it just disappears instantly. But we want it to actually fade away. Using transition, we can go back in here. And just inside the, the square class, we're going to put down transition, opacity, and then one second, one S. Now this rule right here, is literally just saying when the opacity of this square changes I want it to change in a in a nice in a nice way with the with a fade away with an effect and it's got to take one second so it takes one second to make that change that's all it is let's now save and refresh and hopefully we see that effect hover over fades away beautiful mate and that's literally all it is it's, it's very simple, it's just saying when the opacity changes, make, uh, make it take one second. Now we can also do something else with this. We can add a delay in this. For example, if we go opacity one second and then two seconds after that, uh, that's the property name, how long it will take, and then delay. So now refreshing this, it will now take two seconds to make that change. There we are. And going back, it takes that two seconds again. And that's that. Now we can also change the way in which the transition actually happens. So we'll just get rid of the delay for now. And instead, inside here, just put in a linear. So by default here, it is ease by default. We'll make it linear and um, we'll see how this looks like. We'll refresh and we we'll see it happens in a more linear way. Before with ease, it was it was sort of um, it happens nicely. With linear, it happens all at once with the same uh, what do you call it? like the same intervals in between. We can also just quickly add that delay back uh, inside here above that one, so it can say two seconds. So it goes property name, how long it takes, the uh, timing function, the way it fades in or fades out, and then the delay. So in that order right there. We can also do two at once. For example, going inside here again and just putting down background and then red, then up inside the transition property, we'll put a comma and then say background and then two seconds. So a comma separates the multiple transitions. So we're saying do that for opacity and also do this for the background. So background will take two seconds to change. Let's now refresh the browser and we get that effect right there. All right, so that is a simple overview of how you can use the transition property in your applications on the web. Thank you for watching and see you later.